Well, have you looked at the newspaper recently? Have you turned on the television set? We look at what's going on and we say, didn't anybody ever tell these people about the golden rule? The one that says we're to treat others like we want to be treated? Well, Jesus took it one step further. He said in John 13, 34, that we're to love one another as much as he has loved us. Well, that doesn't seem to be happening, does it? And you know, Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 went way deeper. He said, love is patient, love is kind, it's not jealous, it doesn't brag and isn't arrogant and does not act unbecomingly, it doesn't seek its own, and it is not provoked, it doesn't take into account wrongs suffered. It doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but it rejoices in truth. And love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Well, you know, in the King James Version of the Bible, that word isn't love, it's charity. And there's a reason, because the original word was agape love. And agape love is a love that, like Jesus said, doesn't look at itself, but looks at what others are going through. And you know, if you've never been through those things that so many people are angry about, it's hard to understand. And it's almost impossible to love when you see what's being done. But that love, that agape love, isn't an emotion. It's a choice. It's a choice to care about other people. And it's a choice to try to understand why they're doing what they're doing. And you know, if you have any idea of what it means to love Jesus with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, then you also know that these people who don't have that understanding of Christ's love are sinful people and they just honestly can't act the way you would want to see them act. But what do we do about that? We can't go to the rallies and get in their face and say, you should love Jesus and then you would be able to love other people. But there is something very powerful that you can do. The next time you're tempted to not turn on the TV because of what you're seeing, turn it on. Focus on the face of one of those people that you see in that crowd and pray for that person. Pray that they'll come to understand what love really means. Pray that they'll be set free from their anger. And then pray for your city, pray for your county, Pray for your state, pray for your leaders of all of these things and for the nation as a whole and for the world. But don't forget to focus in on pray for one person at a time because our prayers are very, very powerful and very effective and can change the world. God bless you as you love in Jesus' name. Amen.